Hello, welcome to Smart Art Class. Today we'll do a bright and colorful Lord Ganesha painting. So just take a simple bowl of water, uh, paints which you will see on the screen. Just two brushes which is a round, a medium sized round brush and a thin liner brush. This would could be a Z, either a zero number or a uh, one number round brush and a normal sketch book. You can take a simple saucer, a plate or a palette to uh, put on the paints. We are starting with two paints which is blue and red. So we will be creating a combination of the background with these two colors. I am kind of drawing uh, arrows demonstrating you have to uh, put on the colors inward. So uh, like you can roughly draw a border by by using one of the paints so that you know on the left side you go with blue and on the right side you go with red. Let's see about how we put on the strokes. Load up your brush with blue color and just start tapping on the sketchbook, just trying to fill around the area. So as you can see my strokes, I'm just trying to put it on the paper, lift it and again put it back on the paper. Just see. No great technique as such. It's very simple like any, any one of us can do it. This way you have to fill uh, the left side of the sketchbook in blue color and similarly using the same technique you have to do in the red color as well on the right side of the sketchbook. There you see we have our background ready but uh, uh, just to give it a finishing touch we'll mix these both colors like we'll create a medium color in between these two and try to put it in the center so just to give it a nice texture so i've mixed uh, like slight purple color using blue and red and i'm putting it in the center where these two colors had merged this will give you a nice blended effect of the background We slightly cover the harsh edges like uh, on the right side if you see there's a very harsh edge so I'm just trying to blend in the red with that violet purplish color that I had put. Oh, there you go so the background once ready will look something like this you can just touch it to see if it's like completely dry there's no wet color on it so once we have the background ready I'm using a pencil so I can draw a rough outline of Lord Ganesha uh, try to look at the hand movement and it's a very very simple figure I, I'm using an abstract way to you know draw so try to follow it. Yeah, that's how I would create the background. And then using a simple white paint and a thin brush, you can draw the outline. And I'm trying to use a white acrylic paint to fill in the color. So this I would create the base. I'm creating the base with white on top of it I'll put other colors that I want to uh, this is uh, usually done so that the colors that I put here are generally highlighted so now I'm using these three base colors to do Lord Ganesha which is yellow orange and red 
so let's yellow being the lighter most color I'm putting in the base as yellowish so that's how I do it Okay, now picking up a little bit of orange and uh, I'm starting on from the center where the ear meets the face so a little bit on that side there's uh, no hard and fast rule as to where you have to do exactly which color just try to follow my strokes and uh, this would come out perfect and very nice okay this is a little bit of blending and shading that I'm trying to create here little touch of red around the ear so this will give it a little depth where the head meets the ear Okay, one important thing to notice here is uh, I am doing this kind of shading like one color on top of this other. It's when the underneath color is still wet. So this is this will help and gently blend in together and won't create any harsh edges as such. trying to paint the hand with base as yellow color and then I'll also give the edges a little bit touch of like a hint of orange and red Finally using my thin liner brush and black paint to you know provide those fine detailing and outlines now You have to be careful just in case if you're not very comfortable doing it in the first go You can either use a black liner pen or you, you know you can even use a black sketch pen to do this It, it would depend on the kind of control you have on your hand and uh, it always comes with practice so yeah do practice a lot i have a lot of other videos where i've you know demonstrated a lot of paintings for beginners and kids as well you can follow them and keep practicing with smart art class and yeah finally the eye make sure you make it very nicely and very gently to make it more expressive there you go and yeah I'm finally using my liner brush and white paint to draw the crescent moon and a little bit of beads and accessories on the head so you all you have to do is you just have to keep putting dots yeah these thin different size dots okay so I actually did not have this in plan but I thought it would look nice if I create a nice lotus around in here so this is more of an impromptu thing that I'm doing right now create a base white color for the lotus and then pick up a light pink color so I'm creating these petals and if you notice I'm not completely painting those pink colors because I want to give a depth to this flower so and again I would be doing a little dark pink around the around the edges yeah and then white color to the teeth Kind of pretty looks fine now just putting in little dots 
this is all fine tuning friends so if you want you can do it if you don't you don't do it yeah this is also a must these are all beauty touch ups and you see this beautiful colorful lord ganesha painting is finally ready i hope you guys enjoyed painting with me if you really did please put in the comment section below and do subscribe to my channel we hope we'll meet soon